In this demonstration, we are going to cover um, adding a few queries to our existing Access database. We created our Access database in a previous video. I'm going to start off with by opening up Microsoft Access, and then I'm going to locate the file that I created last. So I'll click over here on Open Other Files, Computer, and I can browse. CMG and Cookie Sales Database. Okay, so I want to create um, just a couple different queries just to give you a, a little bit of a representation of how to query a database. So I'm going to click on Create, Query Design. And here I want to see customers with the balance over $50. So I'm going to click on customers, first name, last name, balance. Now here my criteria is where I narrow my results. So I'll say criteria greater 50. I can run my query and I can see that it's displaying only the customers with a balance greater than 50. Hit save. And there's my query. I can go view it under queries. And there's my results. So this is enabling me to ask the database questions. Next, I'll create a query Oops. And what I want to view are customers based on a given sales rep ID. So I put in their sale, their information, and I want the user to be able to enter the sales rep ID. So here for criteria, in brackets, I'm going to put enter sales rep ID. And what that's going to do is it's going to ask the user every time they run this query, what's the sales rep ID? And I'll display the customers for that. And I don't even need to show what the sales rep ID is then. So I'm going to uncheck that field. So we're going to ask based on it, but we're not going to show it. Click run. Oops. Enter sales rep ID. We'll look for Charlie Brown, so CB01. And there are the, sale, or the customers for Charlie Brown. We'll save. So we'll say customers by sales rep. Click OK. We'll do one more. Um, we'll do the total of balance due for the entire organization. So here I'm going to go to Create, Query Design, Customers, go to Balance, and for this I need totals. So I'm going to click up on Totals. And I want sum. Now if I run this, there's the sum of balance due. I'll save. And I have that query as well. And I can always run these queries. Oops. Let's go to tables and queries. Let's get this thing to refresh. There we go. And I can always just double click back on my queries and view the information. So this enables me to ask questions of my database and rerun them at will.
Um, and that shows some of the great power behind using databases instead of documents or spreadsheets. So that concludes just a few examples of how to query a database in Microsoft Access.